what exactly happened when I started supplementing L-tyrosine? Well, let's find out. Hey, what's up, Greg here, the founder of Your Inception. Welcome to my channel. If you want to learn top secrets about nootropics and supplements, then subscribe below to start your journey. Today, I want to talk about my experience with L-tyrosine. Now, this is a very interesting compound. It is a conditionally essential amino acid that is growing in its popularity. And the reason for that is that some studies indicate that if you take this compound when you or before you are under severe uh, stress or when you are working on some super demanding uh, cognitive tasks or even physical tasks if you're working out, uh, it can potentially improve your cognition or even your physical output. Now, this is just one of the benefits. If you want to check out other benefits, click up here. I created another video where I talked about just about the benefits. But now let's focus about my experience with this compound. So the reason why I started supplementing it was to see if it can really improve my focus, my cognitive performance, and also make me kind of more relaxed uh, when I'm under severe stress. So building a business, especially an online bu business, uh, being in front of a camera, uh, working on different projects, it, you know, it's really stressful uh, at, at certain times and you really need to be focused, you really need uh, lots of stamina, lots of cognitive power, and if you're under severe stress, eventually, you know, you're gonna have a, a crash break breakdown um, and you want this to go away or not even to happen in the first place. And, you know, taking l tyrosine was kind of a perfect opportunity for me to see if it actually works. So I actually started supplementing 500 milligrams per day. And I was taking this dosage every day for a couple of days. And then I gradually increased the dosage to up to 2 grams per day. Now, I know that most experts recommend taking uh, 500 milligrams to 2 grams per day before a stressful activity. If you take this on a daily basis for longer periods, this is kind of a dosage to take. You can now and then take in a higher dosage, I think about 100 to 150 milligrams per kilogram of your body weight. Uh, well, I can check this out for you or you can check it out. I'll post some links below where you can learn more about this. Uh, but if you take l on a daily basis, this is kind of the dosage you should have in your mind. Now, the thing is that since this is a conditionally essential amino acid, um, you know, you don't really need to worry about it that much. You can get enough from food, especially if you eat foods uh, high in protein. If you're vegan or not, uh, if you eat lots of meat or not, well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can get enough. So I honestly didn't expect much uh, to happen, even though I saw lots of positive comments on Reddit, on different forums and Facebook groups, um, and you know, people really had really good experience with this. Um, I mean, I said, but honestly, looking at the science, I wasn't really sure. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. So after a couple of weeks of supplementing l tyrosine what exactly happened? Well, honestly, there was no real big change in my cognitive performance, my focus, my well-being, my mood, or whatever. If I say it was, uh, I would probably be lying to you. So um, I personally didn't experience a major difference. But honestly, I think I felt slightly more uh, relaxed and focused at the same time. Now, the important thing about l tyrosine is that it helps to produce different neurotransmitters, adrenaline, noradrenaline, and dopamine. And when you work for longer periods um, in stressful situations or if you're working out, uh, those uh, neurotransmitters get depleted faster than usually. Um, so if you take this compound prior to this activity, like 30 minutes to one hour prior to this activity, there's a chance um, that this depletion will you know, be slower or the production of the neurotransmitter will happen at the same time. Um, so you're gonna feel better eventually or um, instead of you know, feeling super stressful and, and have your brain not functioning at all, um, l tyrosine may help to kind of slow down those effects. That's a theory. Now, in real life, honestly, I didn't experience that uh, probably because I eat super healthy um, and, um, you know, I'm probably not deficient in l in any way. Uh, maybe because I expected too much from it, but that was just my experience. Now, what I tried later on, and that was kind of interesting, I combined it with caffeine and l -theanine. And you can check the effects of caffeine and l in this video up here. Uh, it's a really powerful combo. And when I did this, then I kind of felt much more focused. I had so much more energy. My brain was working on a different level. Um, there is no doubt about it, but um, 
I don't know, probably it was because of caffeine and L-tanine, more than because of L-tyrosine, especially since I was uh, testing L-tyrosine on its own. So yeah, that was my experience. Now, the question is, do I still recommend com um, taking L-tyrosine or no? Well, according to studies I found, the effects are pretty mild, and um, I know some people have really, you know, positive effects, strong effects, but I'm not really sure. It really depends on how, what kind of food you eat, um, in what kind of environment you work. Um, and of course, um, you know, there's a placebo as well. Um, don't forget about that. Studies are positive, show positive effects in many different areas, um, but the effects are pretty mild. That's the only thing. Now, if you get it part of a nootropic stack or if you take it on its own, especially if you are really working under severe stress um, most of the time, or if, if you don't eat foods high in protein um, or proteins, then of course, yeah, I would definitely recommend uh, taking l Well, definitely, why not? Um, now, when it comes to the dosage, yeah, uh, I would start slowly with the, if, if you take it on a daily basis, I would probably take it uh, a very slow dosage and then, you know, try to increase it a bit and see what happens. And of course, listen to my body and see how my body reacts to it. I would definitely not start with super high dosages. And in the long term, I would probably stick to very low dosage. That's what I would do. Um, and yeah, overall, it's a very interesting compound, um, has some potential. Um, we lack some more studies to see real effects, real strong effects. Um, but in general, um, it shouldn't do any harm. It may work positively uh, on you. It may provide some positive benefits. And because of that, yeah, it's definitely worth trying. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook and Instagram. And I hope to see you soon again. Take care.